The California Department of Public Health has imposed a $16,000 fine against Parkway Hills Nursing Home in La Mesa. That's where ex-certified nursing assistant Matthew Flukiger is accused of raping a resident twice in one hour. Among other things, regulators cited the nursing home for lax background checks and not adequately monitoring inappropriate behavior by its staff. Officials also slapped a $2,000 fine on Avocado Post Acute in El Cajon, where Flukiger is accused of sexually assaulting another woman. The state says Avocado failed to immediately report the alleged incident. I can't explain the levels of the fines in either of those cases. They both seem incredibly low. Scott Fikes is a lawyer representing one of Flukiger's alleged victims. He and other advocates for nursing home residents say such light fines aren't enough to change behavior inside these homes. The purpose of a fine is to punish the person who has performed a wrongful act and demonstrate to other people that if you perform that kind of act, there will be consequences. $16,000 doesn't stop anything. Fike says state regulators should publicly explain why those fines are so low. CDPH declined an interview, but told KPBS in an email that the maximum penalties for the Parkway Hills violations was $20,000. The $2,000 fine against Avocado was the maximum penalty California law allows for failing to report sexual abuse in a timely way. Amita Sharma, KPBS News.